these lies continue tonight. Rupert Murdoch, who has admitted they were lies and said he regretted it, has a special obligation to stop Tucker Carlson from going on tonight now that he's seen how he has perverted and slimed the truth and from letting him go on again and again and again. Not because their views deserve such opprobrium, but because our democracy depends on it. I don't think I've ever seen a primetime cable news anchor manipulate his viewers the way Mr. Carlson did last night. I don't think I've ever seen an anchor treat the American people and American democracy with such disdain. And so, on the basis of that, the self-evident outrage of showing the public video that it paid for and has a right to see, Chuck Schumer called for the censorship of that video. Any information, and he did not dispute that it was accurate, the damage is a storyline his party constructed and used must be squelched. And Schumer was explicit on that point. Because that video contradicted lies told by the Democratic Party, Liz Cheney and Adam Kinsinger, Chuck Schumer demanded that our bosses pull this show off the air. Fox News, Rupert Murdoch, tell Carlson not to run a second segment of lies. I urge Fox News to order Carlson to cease propagating the big lie on his network and to level with their viewers about the truth, the truth behind the efforts to mislead the public. Conduct like theirs is just asking for another January 6th to happen. It's a threat to democracy. Pull him off the air. A couple of obvious observations. You don't often see the Senate majority leader openly call for censorship on the floor of the Senate as if that was totally normal and didn't contradict the spirit and the letter of the First Amendment. But of course it does. With that, here's the video. It doesn't answer every question from January 6th. Far from it. But it does prove beyond doubt that Democrats in Congress, assisted by Adam Kinzinger and Liz Cheney, lied about what happened that day. They are liars. That is conclusive. And that fact should prevent them from ever being taken seriously again. These are the pictures you've seen of January 6th. They're familiar because they've been playing on a loop on every media outlet in America for the last two years. There's a reason for that. But it turns out there's quite a bit of video you haven't seen. And that video tells a very different story about what happened on January 6th. More than 40,000 hours of surveillance footage from in and around the Capitol have been withheld from the public. And once you see the video, you'll understand why. Taken as a whole, the video record does not support the claim that January 6th was an insurrection. In fact, it demolishes that claim. And that's exactly why the Democratic Party and its allies in the media prevented you from seeing it. By controlling the images you were allowed to view from January 6th, they controlled how the public understood that day. They could lie about what happened, and you would never know the difference. Those lies had a purpose. They created a pretext for a federal crackdown on opponents of the Uniparty in Washington. Our office wanted to ensure that there was shock and awe that we could charge as many people as possible. The first thing you notice from viewing the full video record of January 6th is just how many people entered the Capitol building that day. Hundreds and hundreds of people, possibly thousands, over the course of about two hours. The crowd was enormous. A small percentage of them were hooligans. They committed vandalism. You've seen their pictures again and again. But the overwhelming majority weren't. They were peaceful. They were orderly and meek. Protesters queue up in neat little lines. They give each other tours outside the speaker's office. They take cheerful selfies and they smile. They're not destroying the Capitol. They obviously revere the Capitol. They're there because they believe the election was stolen from them. They believe in the system. Sí, ya sé, ya sé lo que algunas personas van a decir. 